the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. To the one who can change your life tonight, lift your hands to the one who is not scared by your situation tonight. Lift your hands to the one who is bigger than any doctor's report. Lift your hands to the one who doesn't have faith. He's called faithful. Everywhere, inside and outside, participate. Yes, Lord, we come because we know that you will do mighty things. We come because we are aware that you are mighty. Can you just worship him in one minute? Say, Lord, I know you are able. I came for business tonight. The doctors have said there's no way out. But I come to you, mighty one. Everything around me says it's over, it's too late. But there is the one that sits upon the throne. Yes, you are able. You have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. He said, For he that comes to God must believe. Must believe. That means the presence of God is not the place for argument. Where you are trying to wonder, will God do it? Is God playing them that diligently seek him? Ah, I know my God is able. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you. Listen, you know what faith is? Faith is an assurance. Is is and what gives you audacity to leave your various locations? Some coming from different states. Faith is such a powerful force. It's an audacity. It comes based on something that was told you. Hallelujah. An audacity that empowers you to confront challenges as if they do not exist because there is a backing i need you to understand this we are not just playing some kind of games and wasting people's time no there is an assurance he said when i sent thee when i sent thee not when you went on your own when i sent thee the bible says the people return they return rejoicing they said even the Devils were subject to us through thy name. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I came into this place, I knew that God was set to do mighty things tonight. When I came into this place, I, I knew, I knew it. I knew that there was the spirit of faith in this place. I'm telling you, whether you believe it or not is irrelevant. There is the spirit. Not the word of faith. The spirit of faith. 
It's an operation of faith that makes all things possible. We lift our hands in worship as we sing praises to your name. We lift our hands. Come on, lift your hands and worship the miracle worker. We lift our hands, we lift our hands in worship as we sing. Praise to your lift your hands and worship me. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. Praises to your name. We lift our hands in worship as we sing. Praises to your name. Father, you have not gathered the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. We thank you for the spirit of faith in this place. And we thank you for the mighty things you will do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's save our time. We have a lot to do tonight. Just walk to 20 people. Give them a big hug. Tell them you're welcome. Be so expectant tonight. Outside we are watching. Outside, we are watching. someone's time for an encounter this night. I am very convinced. Please make the most of tonight. Hallelujah. Especially for those of us outside. You may not have the best of sound. You may not have enough seats. There are so many people outside. But let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how far you are. If your faith can reach to him, there is nothing, nothing you cannot get. Hallelujah. If your faith, you see, I, I'm, I'm saying that especially for those of us outside, it's important not to be distracted. Everyone came with his own situation, trusting God for a change. So don't let someone who just came to celebrate with others distract you. There are people here, as you see everybody wearing nice clothes, there are people here who have terminal diseases. They practically have weeks and months to live. I have learned that it's costly to judge people just by their appearance. The load that many people are carrying, they need the hand of God tonight. And we thank God because we have such a Savior. Hallelujah. Just a few things, then we'll get into the Word, and then we'll minister. Hallelujah. I want to thank everyone for the text messages all of the comments on Facebook during my birthday on Wednesday. I really appreciate everyone. Please celebrate yourselves. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
An elderly man told me something some years ago. He said, my son, always know that those who love you always outweigh those who don't like you. So focus on those who love you and keep building. Isn't it amazing? Praise God. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't celebrate it. I know that there are some of you that were thinking, I usually would use that time to just teach on certain principles, but it was not possible. And I really, really apologize. Hallelujah. I apologize. I know some people wanted to say hello. I just needed some time um, alone with God. That was why we just didn't make room for all of that. Praise God. I'll be available briefly after the service. We can jump and hug ourselves together. Praise God. Sorry you didn't eat rice. What you receive tonight will give you a rice factory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are not the needy. You are the Savior that will help the needy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I think I, I've not done this in a while, but I'd like us to celebrate all the faithful workers in this house and in this ministry. Please celebrate them. Do it from the depths of your heart. Hallelujah. Praise God. You may not understand the activities that go on for every single program to come to pass especially the miracle services because of the kinds of crowds and you know that god honors us with this this need for a lot of organization to make sure that people are not injured to make sure people are safe there are all kinds of departments working hallelujah those directing people from other states, those praying, fasting, the workers just pouring in their best. Hallelujah. And this is all to see his kingdom come. We give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Many of us seated here listening to me tonight, tomorrow you will be the one standing on different stages around the world. Listen, listen. Make sure when God commits an anointing and commits grace to you, make sure you are not carried away. You see, let me tell you something. Please listen. This is somebody's deliverance already. Don't get carried away by the flamboyancy that comes with ministry. Are you getting what I'm saying? Thank God for the honor. Thank God for the suit and sitting there and water and protocol standing. And, and this is what some of us, this is our whole desire this is why you want the anointing this is why you want grace so that somebody can kneel down and serve you water and then somebody can say you are the man of god everybody tapping and say that's him look let me tell you if that is really why you want the anointing you are joking god is not a herbalist praise the lord i just want those of you inside to just look outside and see all of the people you you believe listen listen you believe that everyone has come just to come and watch a man or watch a show hallelujah let me tell you if you want the anointing of the spirit in your life you must truly love god and love the agenda of god more than anything you can receive you will be honored honor to whom honor is due that's why we're not sitting at the back at least they created a place for us here that's why they gave us a bottle of water. If you want water, you can buy water and refrigerate it and serve yourself in your house. Jesus said, if I be glorified, he said, if I be lifted up, not if a man of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are ministries that may come and see these crowds and admire the people and just feel, wow, this ministry is moving forward. Brothers and sisters, it is because God has seen our heart. There is a level of publicity that posters cannot do. No matter the level of flyer. The Bible said it was noised abroad 
who noised it we do not know it was noised abroad and they told jesus they said all men seek for thee the motive of your heart must be thoroughly scanned by god to be trusted with authentic anointing that no matter the level of lifting when i come in like this and i see people just looking at me and everybody wondering that's him protocol moving i tell you the truth i have lost the ability to let these things take his place in my life i'm not a fool i've read about too many revivals and how great people started and crash landed if i read about that thing and do the same thing the bible says we are of all men most miserable so tonight I, I need to reiterate it again that God anointed us to serve you and by God's grace we are faithful and we are committed to being true servants and once again God will sign that signature upon the life of somebody tonight I love him forever I love him forever I love him forever more I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. Believe the Lord, believe the forever. Believe not a ministry, not a man of God, not a title, not a superstar. You believe the Lord forever be lifted forever be lifted forever and I'll serve you Lord I'll serve you this is what the anointing is all about I'll serve you forever I'll serve you forever Lord, I'll serve you forever. I'll serve you forever. I'll serve you forever, Lord. Hosanna forever. Hosanna forever. Hosanna forever, Lord. Lord Jesus, tonight we are not embarrassed to let this crowd know that if you do not help us, we have no ability in ourselves. You are the doer of these things and you will take all the glory. You have brought your people from different states. And there are so many more connecting with us online families ministries businesses individuals hungry and panting for a touch tonight oh god help us we cry for strength that is beyond us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord look book of Luke Luke 13 I just want to quickly um, share a few principles that I believe will help us not everyone is here because he or she is sick please sit anywhere if if, if the if outside is is packed full I really apologize there is so much we can do hallelujah if you can sit on the floor wherever after all that's where we started from right jesus said tell the people to sit on the floor if you want to eat bread you must sit down and sometimes you don't need to be embarrassed it's better to sit on the floor and receive a miracle that will drop you on a real throne hallelujah there are a few reasons why um, people in the kingdom do not experience the life and the power and the glory of God in their lives and I just want us to identify a few of these reasons and then we will pray hallelujah number one number one 
and please take what I'm saying serious. It may be very simple. Number one is that they are not born again. They are not even interested. They've not surrendered their hearts to the Lord. I know that the, the subject of being born again and giving our heart to the Lord is something that not many ministries and churches emphasize again because we are carried away by the revelation of the mercy of God. That God can save you whether you are born again or not. God can heal you. After all, everybody who was healed in scripture could not have been born again because Jesus had not died and risen. Whilst that is true, listen, let me tell you something. To be born again is not just a way to get to heaven. It is the way of safety. It is the only guarantee to come out of the grip of this devil that is ravaging people and ravaging societies. So number one, lack of total surrender. I'm not talking about this kind of born again that many people do. Very interesting and funny so-called born again experience that has no transformation to back it up let me tell you if you are truly born again it must change you you go and visit a herbalist you will never leave that place the same whether you have faith or not is irrelevant you must live with something will leave you and something will be added to your life so why will you believe that you came to the king surrendered your entire life and nothing changes the way you used to speak is the same way you used to speak the things you used to do same things no transformation you say after all it's not about the works that i do it's about the grace of god you read the book of revelation and see those who were cast into the lake of fire the bible says they were judged according to their works right Maybe after this, we'll start a series and we'll teach on the books in heaven as revealed. Because the Bible tells us that there are plenty books in heaven. We'll be looking through the word of God. What is contained in these books? Hallelujah. Again and again, Jesus came and he kept saying it again and again. That his purpose was coming, of coming was to reconcile man. The name of the Lord, the Bible tells us, is a what? strong tower said the righteous runs into it and they are saved hallelujah that's the number one reason let's look at luke luke 12 very quickly or 13 luke 13 jesus said something very interesting i'll read from verse 10 but the key verse there is verse 16 luke 13 if you are there say amen and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the sabbath and behold, there was a woman who had what? Will come there. Notice, what did he say the woman had? Did he say the woman was sick? He said she had what? A spirit that caused infirmity. It didn't matter how it appeared physically. The Bible tells us that it was as a result of the presence of a real spirit. That's why the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. All right? Acts chapter 10 verse 38. It says, with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing those who were sick, who were what? Oppressed. Hallelujah. Eighteen years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. Verse 12. And when Jesus saw her, he called unto her and said, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. 13. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And then the rulers had issues with it. Let's just jump to verse 15. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite. Do not each of you on the Sabbath day lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering. Verse 18. And ought not this woman, what is her qualification to be healed? Being what? A daughter of? Aha. Uh -huh. So it's not, ought not this woman being a nice woman 
or being a weak and a sick woman ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham jesus was communicating a revelation because he said in galatians 3 29 there about he says and if ye be christ huh, then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise so the reality of redemption redemption is not just to glorify you alone it is also a rescue mission that means if you are not saved genuinely saved by surrendering totally to jesus christ you can be delivered one gallon of anointing oil can be poured on you i guarantee you these devils will live because of the fiery presence of god but you are not free are you seeing the reason why a lot of people get healed they get delivered right and then after a while jesus gave us a revelation that when a demon leaves a man it goes through arid regions seeking for a place of refuge and finding not it would it would tell itself let me go back to what my house my house watch this and you go back and see that person swept clean but not occupied swept clean but empty and it will gather seven other demons greater than itself and return to the man so that the end of that man is even worse than the beginning the issue of the salvation of our souls is very very important gives us the license to be victorious both in this life and even after this place there are so many believers who want to receive things from God. God, I want you to heal me. I want you to bless me. I want you to change my story. I want you to do this and that. But the sincere truth is that many people do not want to surrender from, to, unto God totally. We want to use him as an errand boy. You begin to talk to people about their salvation and they get offended. I mean Christians, believers, not even unbelievers. They just get offended at once. I was born in a Christian house. In fact, I'm an elder in my church. It doesn't matter. The scribes were the ones who brought the greatest resistance to Jesus. Not even the sinners. The religious people. Having a Christian name is not the same as submitting totally to Jesus Christ. And there are people here tonight. You've been around the things of God. I don't care whether you're a pastor, a bishop, whatever you are. You need to get it right. The devil has legal access to invade any life that does not have the seal of the Holy Spirit through redemption. Are you getting me now? I use the word legal access. That means if you are not born again, you are the devil's property. Whether you believe it or not, it's irrelevant. On legal access, Adam gave Satan the authority of the earth that was why when jesus came in the flesh even jesus could not insult satan and do certain things until he was glorified satan told him follow me and let's climb a mountain and jesus went followed him he showed him the glories in a moment of time and he said just bow to me and i will give you all of this for it was delivered unto me hallelujah we must take the issue of our salvation very seriously and somewhere along this meeting we're going to be making an altar call and i know that there are people who will come and surrender everything and say lord i'm tired of playing games with you i mean business hallelujah so number one lack of total surrender to the will of god number two this is very very important number two ignorance i did a small jot in here i said no or wrong knowledge a man who is ignorant and a man who has the wrong information they are all the same are you getting my point everybody say ignorance psalm 82 verse 5 psalm 82 verse 5 brothers and sisters knowledge in this kingdom 
is your key to walking experientially in victory. Can we read together? It's projected. One to read. Hold on. Who are the day? Who are this day that know not? Media, can you go back to verse 1? Just verse 1 quickly before we come to 5. Let's see who the day are so that we are not confused at all. Everyone read. One to read. And judge it among the among the this is this is a meeting of people who are they they are the gods he said know ye not that ye are gods so we are talking about believers here yet god is still querying them he's saying the earth is out of course because there's something wrong verse 5 he says they know not although they are gods they know not neither do they understand he said they walk in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 but have i not said ye are and all of you are what children of the most high next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes have i not said unto you ye are gods and that all of you are children of the most high but lack of knowledge will make you die like mere men it's not enough to be saved you must be equipped with the revelation that sets you above hallelujah hallelujah i did a little experiment um, somewhere in abuja and i'm going to do it right now stand up mike stand up stand up come my dear stand up please come just one minute everybody watch do you play keyboard Go and sit down there. Just play anything you know how to play. Please, very quickly. Let's save time. Everybody watch this lady. The problem is not with the keyboard. Watch this. Just play anything. Be very confident. I think you should celebrate her. Come on, she's... She's even clapping for herself. Hallelujah. She revealed to you her level of knowledge as far as walking this is concerned. Mike, sit down and play anything. Just please. Hold on. What's the difference? five fingers both of them have it two eyes both of them have is that true same keyboard same chair same conditions are you getting what i'm saying now this sister may get angry and say Kai, this keyboard is not well tuned that's what that's the excuse a lot of believers are giving right but the bible tells us they know not so it is not that it is not possible they know not are you getting what i'm saying now Two people sit on the same keyboard. Two people on the same stage of life. Exposed to the same opportunities. Exposed to the same challenges. Exposed to the same predicaments. Yet there are other people soaring victoriously as if Satan does not exist. And then there are others that have been buffeted by Satan. Everybody say ignorance. Ignorance is a terrible thing in the spirit. Because it can make you suffer the same thing an unbeliever will suffer. Galatians chapter 4 now. It says an heir. You don't need to turn there for time's sake. As long as he's a child. One who is entitled to the blessings of royalty. But as long as he's a child. One void of knowledge. Hallelujah. He said he differed not from a slave. But he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Ignorance. The kingdom of God is a system. Write it. I've said this thing again and again. It's not enough to call Christianity a race. You must see the kingdom of God as a system. The kingdom of God has a financial system. There is a system in the kingdom that keeps people healthy. People don't get healthy by luck. Please get this. There is a system in the kingdom that keeps people protected. 
there is a system in the kingdom that keeps people blessed there is a system in the kingdom that makes people successful are you getting what i'm saying now many believers are born again but we lack the knowledge the revelation the understanding of how the system the structure of the kingdom is built so we keep living our lives based on guesswork hallelujah let me talk about finance a little because it concerns everybody again and again there is the economic meltdown families all kinds of things are happening to people but i want you to know that god will be an irresponsible god to plant us in the earth without creating a system for our welfare and blessing every kingdom has an economic system are you getting what i'm saying and if you understand that system no matter where you are now it's only a matter of time the system has a force that compels you to be victorious because the power of god's word is that when the word of god is sent in any place it must create a garden of eden out of that place otherwise it will not stop working hallelujah the kingdom of god brothers and sisters is made of systems what are the laws that govern finance for instance right very quickly i think i should just chip it in because the issue of money and finance is very important many of us just know that the way to be blessed in the kingdom for instance is just go to school get a job hope you get promoted that's wonderful but i'm sorry to tell you that's not the that's not the system of god hallelujah that kind of system will only lead to heart attack and stroke with time because no matter how hard working you are it just will not be enough it will make you stingy it will make you greedy you will never be able to have enough brothers and sisters there is a provision in the kingdom it has nothing to do with age it has nothing to do with gender it has nothing to do with race the bible says for in every nation i have seen that god is no respecter of person but that in every nation the principles that has equal value everywhere across the earth genesis 8 22 that's the law that governs wealth and prosperity in the kingdom it says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest summer and winter cold and heat day and night shall not cease this was a pronunciation that came from the mouth of god himself hallelujah very very important deuteronomy 28 verse 1 says if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command thee this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you and it begins to list it many of us like claiming the blessings without the conditions abraham according to scripture represents the prototype of what god calls a blessed man and in isaiah chapter 51 from verse 1 to 3 the bible says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that bear thee it says for i called him alone and i blessed him and i increased him in other words if you want to be blessed in the kingdom i have put a template for you understudy his life jesus was speaking to the jews he says if ye be the sons of abraham you will do the works of abraham in other words it's not about claiming there are principles that abraham followed so you look onto abraham as a model as a principle the bible says that follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise not are obtaining it they have obtained it listen in the kingdom the bible says as for the ancient path don't invent one the road has already been found you will struggle fruitlessly forever find out and walk he said ask for the ancient parts ask from those who have found it and when you find it walk therein he said and you shall find rest for your souls praise the lord praise the lord every herbalist every every satanist every occultist knows that wealth and prosperity is spiritual if you suddenly see Benga, for instance, 
next week and you see him unusually blessed everybody will look at him and say you have gone somewhere not you have done something you have gone somewhere you went to ask questions somewhere but there is a there is an economic principle i just feel like that's really not my emphasis but i think i need to just say it so that we can get certain things what are the principles number one tithing let me just write it very quickly tithing tithing i know that we have taught again and again in this place but for the sake of probably those who are coming for the first time please look at me if your giving in the house of god is with the mentality of donation you will die broke forever are you getting me there are many people who give in the house with the mindset of donation we want to help the needy this needy church i'm a rich person or i'm mm -mm. you must give in the kingdom understanding that number one you love god and number two you are engaging the lord that releases the supply of heaven tithing when abraham came back from the war the bible says he met with a man called melchizedek hallelujah and he said melchizedek blessed abraham as a result of his giving his tithe he blessed abraham and said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and abraham's destiny opened up malachi chapter 3 from verse 8 to 12 begins to tell us the contemplation between god and the nation of israel he says will a man rob god from verse 8 he says yet ye have robbed me he said wherein have we robbed you this is god speaking calling people robbers he said you people have robbed me hallelujah in malachi chapter 1 he begins to talk to them about the kinds of offerings they bring to god and he said look at the kind of animals you bring you bring lame animals and all of this give this to your governor and see if he will accept it and then he now begins to tell us will a man rob god he said wherein have we robbed he said in tithes and offerings and then he says you are cursed with a curse are you seeing that now that one is not the cause of the law is the cause is is the woe that follows anyone who is not interested in being faithful in tithing then verse 10 says bring ye how many how many bring ye all not some all the tithe into the storehouse he said and prove me here with saith the lord if i will not number one open unto you the windows of heaven right that you will not have room enough to contain it number three he says and i will rebuke the devourer for your sake and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground neither shall your vine cast its young before its time hallelujah then it talks about you being blessed and you being a delightsome land all the nations will call you blessed a delightsome land a favored land seven prophetic blessings for being a faithful tither let me tell you something every time you are not faithful in tithing the heavens are scripturally entitled to be closed over your finances it doesn't matter how you pray and beg God. The devourer is permitted to come into your life. It doesn't matter how hard you walk. For I have seen that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. Hallelujah. The Bible says, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over the city. He said the watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up in early in the morning and sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said but he giveth unto his beloved sleep hallelujah so your giving or your tithing number two is your giving luke 6 38 give and it will be given unto you another way of putting it don't give and what will happen it will not be given unto you as simple as that it's a non-negotiable condition give and it shall be given unto you the bible says press down shaken together running over shall men give unto your bosom for with the same measure you give that is the same measure you'll be given hallelujah 
God will not bring you into the earth knowing the importance of finance and leave you stranded. I'm not talking about this money mongering prosperity teaching that is just an issue of gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm talking of revelation that produces decent results in your life where you understand that the finances of the kingdom has a mission. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 Ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might become rich. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 8 from verse 6 or 2 Corinthians 9 from verse 6 down begins to tell you he that sweat sparingly shall reap sparingly. He that sweat bountifully shall reap bountifully. Hallelujah. He said, let every man give as he has purposed in his heart. Not grudgingly of necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. The next verse says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. So that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every good work. Hallelujah. In Philippians chapter 4, when you begin to read from verse 13 down. Paul was beginning to talk to the Macedonian church how that they gave of themselves first. They gave of themselves. They gave within their power and even beyond their power. He said, not that I desire a want, but I desire fruit that will be credited unto your account. And then in verse 19 of Philippians 4, he says, my God, we claim that verse, but we do not know the conditions that led to it. He was speaking to people who were givers. My God shall supply your needs. Not according to your needs, according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. There is a formula. There is a path that leads to the blessing of the kingdom. All kinds of giving. Under giving, there are different kinds. There is your worship offering. The Bible says not to appear before God in Zion empty-handed. That means he has made provision for you to always be able to come to Zion with something in your hand. It's just that it's our greed and our being stingy. If I give, what? when will I get another one? The one you have has not helped you too. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Number two, on that giving. I just want to talk a bit on finances. I just sense in my spirit to talk about it. Your worship offering. Number two is your giving to parents. Look, let me tell you, if you miss this, you will die broke forever. I don't care how many gallons of anointing oil is poured on your head. Giving to parents. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. That what will happen? Your days will be long. That's the secret of longevity. And it shall be well with you. There are many young people facing roadblocks and predicaments in their lives. Because they dishonor their parents. Take what I'm saying very, very seriously. Honor your father and your mother. In Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 9 and 10 says, Honor the Lord. It teaches us how to honor with your substance. Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruit of all your increase. Verse 10 says, So then shall your barns be filled with plenty and your vats, your presses to overflowing. Hallelujah. Honor the Lord. Honor the Lord. Hallelujah. Number three is kingdom investments. That you hear that there is a project in the house of God. The psalmist said, for the sake of your house, I desire my, your prosperity. I'm looking for money for the sake of your house. That there is any project towards soul winning. Towards building of the house of God. David was sitting down and he thought to himself. He said, how can I be in such a palace like this? And there is no house for my God. He said, although you are so mighty, you do not need a place for habitation. But I will build you a house. And God said, you have shed too much blood. You can't build me a house. Because of his love for God, he gathered the resources so that it will make it easy for his son. Please listen. I know that there are men of God that play all kinds of prosperity gimmicks just to get money from people. But let me tell you the truth. Do not in a bit to discredit what is wrong. Kill the opportunity for the authentic revelation of the blessing because it will tell on you badly. Hallelujah. 
Is someone getting blessed? Hallelujah. Kingdom investments. I never hear about anything that is, is, is an opportunity to give or so for the advancement of the kingdom and not be part of it. Impossible. No matter how little. No matter how little. And then your heavens are open in strange ways. The thing about the prosperity of the kingdom, we've done that. You can get our message on financial dominion, a four-part series. It's not all about money. That's what worldly wealth cannot, it can just give you nice clothes and this, but it cannot protect you. A teenager killed the president of a nation. A teenager with all his security, one gunshot and he was dead. That's a terrible life. That's not prosperity. Are you getting my point now? But Daniel entered the lion's den and he came out safe. Hallelujah. And then your giving, what we know as priestly or is popularly called in the Pentecostal circles, prophet offering. Although, huh, this one has been bastardized and abused because, you see, when it comes to prophet offering, the man of God is the ultimate beneficiary. So the way we flog it and cane people out. Have you given prophet offering? Can I tell you something? No true man of God lives by the wealth of his congregation. God never sends a man of God to be a burden to any congregation. Any true man of God is blessed by his personal obedience and compliance of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. When the queen of Sheba brought her wealth and gave Solomon... The Bible says Solomon blessed her with everything she desired. You must learn to honor whatever grace that God uses to feed and bless you. I know it has been abused, but it is very true. Some of us were in different churches and we watch our pastors. We watch their families and we, it never crosses our heart to bless them. Because you say this man said, how many rema does he have? This one that he's preaching, he's mentioning Genesis and quoting Revelation. So what? Hallelujah. These are kingdom principles. And then giving to the poor and the needy. The Bible says, he that gives to the poor lends to the Lord. Imagine borrowing a rich man money. Ah, I like that kind of business. When you borrow a rich man money, I gave an example when we we're doing financial dominion. Imagine a multimillionaire saying, please, you have 15 naira, give me. You will give quickly because he will not give you back 15 naira. He that gives to the poor lends to the Lord. Hallelujah. That was the secret of the wealth of Job. Job began to talk how that he responded to the need of the poor and the needy. He said, in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Hallelujah. So many things happened to him. Greed. Greed is what has destroyed many people in the body of Christ. Greed. There is he that scattered, the Bible says, and yet increased. There is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty. In this time of recession, in this time of financial lack, you will have to give your way to a realm of unhealthy ending well it may take time but let me tell you the bible says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree study the palm tree it doesn't grow at once but it's growing but in one year the palm tree will blossom he said even in old age they will be fat and flourishing hallelujah is someone learning something so do you see the reason? It's not just about demons and Satan. Many of us like the fact that if I call this lady now, I say, do you know that there is somebody who is tying your money? They say, yes, I've always known. Please, I've always known. As if you have been obeying the principles of the kingdom. You're not tithing, you're not giving. And in this era of the prophetic, many people have become gullible. Please don't criticize the prophetic. It is very important for the agenda of God. It's just that it must be balanced. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace.
the third point i spoke about number one uh, not surrendering to the kingdom number two ignorance i just digressed a bit to talk about finances then number three disobedience to kingdom principles different kingdom principles hallelujah if i ask you a question please just write it and look up i have to run if i ask you what is your basis of believing you are going to live long in the kingdom what are you going to tell me the blood of jesus or because jesus died what is what is your confidence that you will celebrate christmas in 2014 in this wickedness that we have boko haram doing everything what is your exemption what are you standing on that exempts you are you seeing why i'm there are principles brothers and sisters longevity different people want to live long i had to study for myself i told myself i said oh boy if you want to live long you better find out what the bible has put and number one is honor to parents he said honor your father and your mother every time i want to travel i'll call my mother and say how are you god bless you and i know my journey is safe for sure number two he said i shall not die but live to declare that means if you are not declaring her i shall not die there is an immunity that comes upon me because i'm an envoy advocating the agenda of the kingdom hallelujah praise the lord number three i said before you life and death blessing and cursing but i advise you choose life that you may live i chose it i chose it absolutely hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying now so it is on the strength of this revelation you can say in the name of jesus i know i know hallelujah what is your scriptural basis of believing that you will live in health? Just because you are bearing a Christian name? No. Brothers and sisters, no. Just because you went to school? There is a basis. There is a basis. Hallelujah. He said, I will let none of these diseases that came upon the Egyptians to come upon you. But there is a reason. He said, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. He said, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Hallelujah. Obedience. We must pay attention. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst from your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said they are life, not to Christians, to those who care to find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Let's hurry up. So that's the third reason why things don't go well with people. The fourth reason, which is most important, is demonic oppression. The Bible tells us that the whole world lies in wickedness. And I've said it again and again. Don't let anybody play church games with you and deceive you with suit. We live in a wicked world. The condition to be a prospective victim of wickedness is that you are born of a woman. As simple as that. You don't need to offend anybody. The whole world lieth in wickedness. We live in a very wicked world. Someone can look at you and vow and say, over my dead body, it will not be well with you. Ah, ah, they looked at Jesus Christ. What did he do? They sat down and held a meeting to kill him. And Jesus said, if they have done it unto me, they will do it to you. Hallelujah. That means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs. That's why he gave us power. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power. Not through making noise and wearing suit. Through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. Many of us have been deceived. 
this is a nice world don't trouble satan satan will not trouble you and just say i'm not looking for anybody's trouble <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the whole world lies in wickedness after struggling for five years to get a job you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, i don't like you you didn't do anything wrong i just don't like you and as long as i'm in this office because for one position for promotion there are 10 or 5 people qualified everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling believing because you are you have a christian name brothers and sisters please wake up as we approach the coming of christ the fierceness of evil becomes stronger and it is they that know their god daniel eleven thirty two. they that know their god they that not they that have heard about him they that know their God shall be strong. You see all these people gathered here? It would take God opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting. But it takes an authority. Oh, this is the part about the kingdom I like. I love the fact that our the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity. It's a kingdom of power and authority. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember a woman came to me for counseling one time. When she was about, she got married newly. You know, and, and, and that was quite some decades ago. And she couldn't have a child. So she went to a stream somewhere. You know, and all kinds of things were done for her. And they told her, make sure you have a daughter. And before that daughter gets married, make sure you return her. And the woman said, you may have been dead by that time. He said, see my son. And he pointed one small boy who was just playing around. He said, by that time, this boy will now be the priest. Return her so that something will be done. Hallelujah. Now the lady graduated and the women advise the mother and say, Madam, we know you are a Christian, but this world we are living in, just quietly go. Who will know? Just go and settle this thing and come back. There are many people under all kinds of yokes who have been made to believe that once you are born again, everything is over. Brothers and sisters, it is true that in Christ, the old is supposed to have gone. But Satan will not just release you at a platter of gold. It will take enforcing what Christ has done for him to let you go. Hallelujah. And Pharaoh refused to let them go. After nine plagues, although God had given the command, Pharaoh refused to let them go. Hallelujah. And then in the book of Exodus, he said, one more plague will I bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. After that, he will let you go. One more plague. Hallelujah. I'm glad to announce to you tonight, the devil must give up on you finally. There are many women suffering barrenness many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses there are many of us we are sitting here laughing but nothing is working in our homes it's not like you are not the day you just announce in the family that there is a project that's the day everything will scatter let god bless the family with small resources everybody gets sick until the money finishes then they will become fine by themselves i was diagnosed i've shared my story some of you were born in nice families. They took care of you. The devil never oppressed you. That's why you have not understood the implication. I was diagnosed of a fungal infection I had no account of. Just appeared. This head you are seeing was literally rotting. And they told me hair will never grow on my head again. I know what evil. The de That's why I will live every day. One of my life's mission is to give hell headache. Till I transit to celebrate with Jesus Christ. Mm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. 
they banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food and I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There was a season in my family people were dying like chickens look let me tell you something my grandfather for some of you who are around the north my grandfather they were the trustees and the founders of church of christ in nigeria i come from a, a lineage of missionaries but it did not solve the problem in my family are you getting my point all the first bonds i saw the i saw the pattern they became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet Earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God, and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have left, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night, somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school, you go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line, there's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job, the manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity, but you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. 
There is power. It's in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I shared with us the testimony. Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman, I would think it's a lie. I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey. Half man, half monkey with hair. If not that I was sitting face to face with this woman, if I had another man of God say it, I may join those saying this is a lie, some exaggeration, just to make the message look powerful. I've seen all kinds of evil. But in the name that is above all names, there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. Are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree. You waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once. When you address the problem, it's like somebody who is complaining of headache, but the real issue is typhoid fever. You can take Panadol again and again. You will receive temporary relief. But tonight, some things will be totally settled in the name of Jesus Christ. You will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up. Then job opens up. Then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of us even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time it's on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing Every area of her life was grounded. I prayed for this lady and she went back to Abuja and her boss looked at her. He said, come, you've been working in this place. What has been done for you? Right now, this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere. When her friends heard about it, they say it's because you are fine. She says, have I not been here four years with the same pretty face? Nothing changes by itself till you force it to change. It will change one day is a dream. If you force it, it will change. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, you are standing outside. Students, you are, you are suffering. Things are not working. People think you are dull, but you are not dull. You enter the exam hall, you blank out. And then you will do tutorials and be helping others. When they are marking scripts, your script gets missing. The wickedness. The Bible says, while men slept, an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away. There are all kinds of people. Lumps, fibroids, barrenness, cysts, all kinds of nonsense all around. Until you know the might of God, you will keep getting afraid of Satan. But when you know who God is, you will know once and for all that this devil, he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator. Who am I speaking to tonight? Is your season for real change. You can see, you can sit down and watch others. There are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now. It's not like you are not pretty. It's not like you are not virtuous. You have done everything. You have read every book. You've knelt down for every man to greet them, but no marriage. Something is wrong. It even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry. And this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found. What of the man? 
Alleluia. But the Lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives. Listen, many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families. You know we believe in family in this place, right? Your salvation is not complete until the members. He said, as for me and my house. Hallelujah. Every one of us standing here came from a family. And let me tell you, no matter how blessed you are, if your family is not changed. For many years, my father was grounded at his place of work. His juniors were being promoted. Everything was working for others except him. This man was almost dying of high blood pressure. And one day I got angry and we had to settle the issue. Tonight, God will settle some family. So please take what I'm saying seriously. I'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray. Hallelujah. There are some of you, anytime somebody wants to bless you, something will happen to that person and just scatter him. Somebody says, I want to bless your family. Everything becomes grounded. There are some of us who are in ministry. You have done everything you know. Groundbreaking. Prophetic match round everything. Nothing is growing. But Jesus Christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory. Hallelujah. And in a few minutes, we have to pray before I begin to minister. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray and say, Father, visit me. I didn't just come to watch others and clap. Hallelujah. The power of God is present to heal. No matter what the sickness is, no matter what the sickness is, believe. Is it cancer? Is it HIV? Is it fibroid? Is it genotype issue? No matter what it is. You are stranded in whatever area of your life. Please position yourself. Because God is about to do mighty things right now. No matter how far you are inside or outside, talk to the Lord. Don't be joking. This is about your destiny. This is your chance for a change of story. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness of this sickle cell anemia Jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes Jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that HIV to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful. He paid the price. He paid the price. Go ahead and pray. And say, Jesus, you have paid the price. Jesus, you have paid the price. For the deliverance of my family. We are tired of this hardship. It's not your will for us to continue in this hardship. And Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. We will not let you go till you change our story. Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story. Academically, I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price 
Oh, hallelujah. He has paid the price. Hallelujah. He paid it with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price. The price. The devil must let you go. The blood has been shed already. Jesus said, it is finished. That cancer is finished. HIV is finished. The devil may not want to let you go. But you will enforce the word. The Bible says how forcible are right words. How forcible are right words. How forcible. Rise up on your feet everybody. And begin to blast in tongues. And say my time has come. My time has come. Oh God my time has come. Tonight you will visit me as your blessing man. Let your eyes see me, oh God, as your changing stories. Visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me, oh God. That epilepsy must die tonight. That yoke of financial hardship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The power of God is in this place. I believe. Lord, I believe. Listen. 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 Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. The man who laid down at Bethesda, he'd been like that for 38 years. There is a way a situation has been so long in your life. Even when they are telling you God will change it, you say, Lord, change the rest. Tonight, do not leave any stone unturned. Are you getting my point? Whatever it is you're trusting God for. Many of us left different states. Many of us left different local governments. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, for this and that and that area of my life. He must give way tonight. Yes, Lord, it must give way tonight. It must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The 
the lord kept telling me this again and again the root the root of the issue hallelujah lift your hands i'm about to pray right now i'm about to pray inside and outside there will be such a release of the forcible power you can't stand it no hallelujah father in the name of your son there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families and lord in the name of jesus as we shout that name let there be such a move my god my god lift your hands at the count of three i'd like you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name devils will leave right now one two three the power of god right now i command forces forces of darkness yokes yokes of darkness yokes bring them out the fire of god is falling i challenge altars Outside, the power of God Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside, and I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name, it's already happening to people right now. As I speak, as I shout that name, Jesus, when you shout it, many of you will hear sounds of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your head. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your head. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. How about take it? Go, 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 Now, 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Pass this row. Go, 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 Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she take a papa tapa tapa then crack a party can they both shut up papa talaba let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! Brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you. Look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life. You will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing his. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah, well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the curse 
this, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I've not seen a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother. I didn't pray for you, that was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is, but as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please, because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this just like this down that's how i see the power of god moving lift your hands in the name of the lord jesus we part to every cause of marital delay leave god people now 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 now, now. Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect them. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now 
every spirit husband, every spirit wife, every devil, every demon. Go, go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every act of witchcraft that has tied families, we release you right now. Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if it's if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains going. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what i'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but i release it right now i release it by the spirit in the name of the lord jesus and i prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that
that has been tied by witchcraft be released now Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening. Many of you will leave this place. You will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside. Two people, in fact, the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way. They will never be able to contain it outside. When that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the Spirit, you can't stand it. You will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire. Sopotopata like wildfire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wildfire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of jesus, of jesus. There is power in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. There is power in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure. Or don't tell lies here, oh please. You are the one? What is what's your name? No, no, Salome, just wait here. You are the one? Salome. The, the meaning of your name I'm going to pray for you Salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray God wants to give your family breakthrough out of her now out of her out out right now out out of her out bring the motion she parata barrette prega de boxa ni va so paria tabaria doste che parata ta i prato se palia na bako se che de pregadia preteste parata bako se che de le va si panda bako i set your family free right now by the fire of the holy ghost now be free now be free now be free out out be free in the name of the lord jesus may you become that treasure truly let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. 
I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue and say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead all blood. We plead the blood of Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer oh, cases, whatever I it is, genotype, Lord, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. 
One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself, easy myself, the thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. Having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Jehovah, you've done, you done for me what no one else will do. Say, may love Jehovah. 
daddy there is a name that is greater than any ancestry you will be the first to be healed come hold my hand pile go now you are a devil of darkness i curse you out from her life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus daddy i bring you the life of jesus christ the power of god is coming upon you stroke i cost that spirit i cost that spirit strength to you i cost that spirit look at this in the name of the lord jesus come stand up come by yourself come come just come 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 walk come at this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, look at look at this look at this look at this look at this Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on now. Hold on. Hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise, 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 praise. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the devil. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright, sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up, but help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. When God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. When she don't say yes, 
nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. You can no longer conceive. Why? one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah! Son of man, can this bones be bigger? Hallelujah! I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here, she would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister, she's not here. That is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, do I never see in kind, no. This kind God, do Bless the be Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby this baby was looking like an angel they were snapping the baby right hallelujah father every woman in this place every family trusting God for a miracle child in the name that is above all names you did it for this family do it again do it again oh God do it again oh God Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is in a Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I'll attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time worship team please my god is awesome he can move my hold on let her talk 
ya je Israel zin she she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja so say so take fi ya leading ya in south south say ya edo guda hudu su je su duke shi suka cire shi daga fourth floor sun yadda sha kasa suka karba kudi a wajen shi tun December 14 yana fama a Israel shine yasa na ce amma ina yake yanzu har yanzu amma yanzu lokacin da ya fadi an ce ba za yi bungana ba ba za yi rubutu ba ba za yi tafiya ba waga su ya ce to a ci gaba da tutin dishi yayi addu'a Allah ya ga mishi za yi tafiya za yi magana za yi rubutu suna yeso yanzu yana rubutu yana magana amma ka fadi ne bai fara tafiya ba father in the name of your son Jesus Christ all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost Kabala toza tabaranda kalibata zide lembrash ko prande kalabati la kapraste prasti satabala mande ke preske la tosko baridalaba in the name of Jesus what's his name Bege poche chet Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk every broken bone we mend it now thank you jesus mama you will return with a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you now get you on buyer hold on buying can make his office sometimes go your back come on get the cafe harry and as well at the cafe they call it singing kashabi in Alsa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Hausa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's what? That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But here, when you walk in Kadunaba, Hold on now. Yen Kaduna boku ya wa kangarin ku ba. Sene sa papa ba ti ba kwa. Ah ba ti ba kwa. Sene sa papa ba ti ba wa. Oh ye ba ti ba wa. Sene sa papa ba ti ba wa. You don't know what they are saying. Just be just be there. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at. Look at. Rheumatism couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent, completely permanent. In Jesus' name, and your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome, He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is 
collecting the prayer request very quickly start collecting the prayer request very quickly
As I pray for you, go back, check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. Kubash, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Come, look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that you walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, pray in tongues. Rata Of God come like flash of light, real fast, 
bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord Bakos i perioto shimile gam from siki parodo sile branda karabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, our Father, God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here but this is very prophetic for me i consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation because of our time please there are people here you've not given your life to jesus you've seen the works of the kingdom and tonight you're saying jesus i want to make it right with you wherever you are Please, as I pray, I want you to march forward. You'll be the first I'm going to be praying for. There are people here right now, others, you've given your life to Christ, but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom. And you're saying, Lord, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for everybody. Everyone has joined the kingdom. You are the only one left. I'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now. Celebrate them. God bless you as you come. People are coming. God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call 
but please we mean business this is very very serious god bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for me tonight i make you my lord and savior i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i declare that i begin to make progress in my life i submit to the authority of jesus i denounce sin and satan from today i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep the hands lifted up father thank you these hands are lifted unto you they will never be put down in the name of jesus let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of jesus christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of jesus christ we celebrate you we love you we honor you thank you for making this great decision now i'd like you to follow the ushers the people with blue and black hallelujah follow the gentleman this side just follow them they will have your details and then we'll communicate to you celebrate them koinonia thank you so much everybody lift your hands please rise rise as we pray praise the lord by the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy hallelujah praise the lord this is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny hallelujah lord we give you praise right now in the name that is above all names i pray every door that has been closed over anyone's life every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now every terminal disease in your body i command that it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now hallelujah the bible says and esther found favor before the king and the king said what shall i do to you even up to half of my kingdom i pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny help us share the word of the lord I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Let me tell you the truth. 
the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunk hill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man i pray as surely as the god of heaven leaves whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now I release you I command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook Cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water i command supply right now by the favor of the lord god of israel let there be supplies hallelujah i pray for you the bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results hallelujah 
and he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it when Balak told Balaam to curse Israel he said I have been commanded to bless this I have done and it cannot be reversed I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may your hands be blessed Amen. scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore there must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm let there be restoration now hallelujah hallelujah the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you only with you your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked you see bomb blast everywhere there's nowhere that looks safe again the only place of safety is the name of the lord for the bible says it is a tower a strong tower i declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the bible says as for me and my house i prayed for you now i pray for your house in the name that is above all names whatever has mocked the god of israel in your house we change that report right now whatever has mocked the god of israel sarah said those who laugh at me have now laughed with me i declare we change the story of your family and his mother named him jabez because she said i bore him in sorrow and jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you jesus i pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the holy ghost please lift your hands just i just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the spirit all kinds of gifts of the spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointings take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life i command it to come back alive now go and heal the sick go and cast out devils i call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven go and represent the value system of heaven go and be a light change people's situations speak over their lives hallelujah give jesus praise dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny.
Kete branda kata bako tosko to brekete kene kata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline 